Okay, this is page three in the packet. Notes from page three in the packet. So if you're going to come up with the formula, name from the formula, you're going to go through these steps. You're going to first split it. You're going to check for Roman numerals. If it's a yes, then you're going to reverse crisscross. You're going to check the negative. You're going to adjust and then name. If it's a no, you're going to just name. Okay, so you know it is a roommate from the following reason. Let me pause for a moment and I'll come back. So you should have a copy of this periodic table in your packet or in your stuff. Um, you know it needs a roommate if you look here and you go to the ion sheet. So these are all your anions. These guys here all have roommates. Okay. Let me, let me circle it. I'll be. So these guys, this is a roommate, so it needs Roman numeral. This has a roommate. These. Oops. So anything with more than one. So those all need Roman numeral. Need Roman numeral. Need Roman numeral. These all would not get Roman numerals. They live alone. So would zinc. Zinc lives alone. No roommate. No Roman numeral. Cadmium. No roommate. No Roman numeral. Silver. No roommate. No Roman numeral. Aluminum. No roommate. No Roman numeral. Roman numeral. Cobalt needs a Roman numeral because it has a roommate. Iron needs a Roman numeral. It has a roommate. So that's the idea behind a roommate. So back to the notes. So if it has a roommate, it needs Roman numerals, you got to do these steps. So let's do this example. So we're going to do a first step. You're going to split the compound and check if lead needs a Roman numeral. You'll see that it does. So then you're going to reverse crisscross. Remember, this is really PB1, CO32. So you might put your numbers back in and then reverse crisscross. You only have to do that if you need Roman numerals. So this is going to be PB plus 2. So it's always plus first. CO3, 1 minus. So this one comes up and this two goes up. That's how I got plus two and minus one, always plus and minus. Then you're gonna look on your ion sheet, look up this one to see if it's charged should be a minus one. So let me show you where that is. It's on the top half here. Oops, sorry about that, it's bouncing around. Top half of your ion sheet, so I'm looking for CO3. Is that what it was? Yeah, CO3. So I find CO3 to be right here, and I see that it should be a minus 2. When I reverse crisscross, I only got a minus 1. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by 2 to fix it. That's what I mean by adjust. Whatever I multiply the negative by, I must multiply the positive by. So this becomes PB4 plus. This is CO3 to minus. Now this is correct. So I have to name this as lead. Roman numeral 4, because plus 4 is Roman numeral 4, and then carbonate. Next one. So on this one, I'm going to split, right? Barium does not have a roommate. I'm going to flip over and show you. Barium is right here. It lives alone. So I do not need to do anything except name it. So then I would name this half barium. No Roman numerals because it does not have a roommate. Second half, I'm looking for this element combination. So just an N by itself. The number is there for the, because it had to be there to crisscross. So I'm looking for N all by itself. You're always looking for the second part up here. And N all by itself is right here. See, there's no other elements with it. It's just N. So that's nitride. So then that would be barium. Nitro. No Roman numerals because it does not have a roommate. Next example, split this. Look to see if TI has a roommate. So down here, TI is right here. It has a roommate, so I have to go through the steps. I would put numbers back in. This is really TI1 and SO3 1. Think about the other methods that you learned. So now you're going to reverse crisscross. Ti1 plus SO3 1 minus. Remember that. 
this one is coming up, this two is, this, excuse me, this one is coming up, this one is coming up, and then it's going to be positive first and negative second. Check this, should this be a minus one, so you're going to look on your ion sheet. And SO3, yep, yeah, SO3 should be a minus two. So then I'm going to have to adjust it by multiplying. Multiply by two, multiply by two. So then this is Ti2 plus and SO3 2 minus. So this is titanium Roman numeral two because of a plus two sulfite. Example four. Always split. We're going to be splitting it right before the second capital letter in almost all cases. Put your uh, Roman, see if it needs Roman numerals. Get ahead of myself. See if it needs Roman numerals. I was going to erase it. Copper is right here. Kind of covered it up, but it has a roommate, so it needs Roman numerals. So that means we have to do extra work. I put my numbers back in. That two is there. But the C2O4, remember, is protected with parentheses. I gotta put the one back in. So reverse crisscross. This two comes up. This one comes up. Always positive and negative. Positive to negative. Check to see if C2O4 should be a minus two on your ion sheet. right here is a minus two so it's correct so then all I have to do I don't have to adjust I just have to name this the stage as it is so copper Roman numeral one oxalate example five split it does calcium need Roman numerals You would see that calcium lives alone, so it does not need Roman numerals, so you're going to name the two halves. No work needed. So this is calcium phosphate. Next one, so split. Does very get a roommate. Check on your ion sheet. Varian lives alone, so it does not. So you just name the two halves. So the first one is varian. Remember that we're looking for the element combination in the back. So we're looking for just an I. So I look on my ion sheet and I see I by itself right here. So it's iodide. So barium iodide. That one's done. Next one. Split it. Does cobalt need Roman numerals? You would see that it does. So you're going to reverse crisscross. We know this is really this. Put numbers back in before you reverse crisscross. If you have to do Roman numerals. Plus one and one minus. Remember, that goes up, that goes up. So n should be a minus three. So I multiply by three, multiply by three. That makes this turn to that, and then it's cobalt, Roman numeral three, nitride. Next one, split. You will see that magnesium does not need Roman numerals, so I name them. But you have magnesium, and, and then Cl, that's an L, with no other atoms, is called chloride. See if you can get these answers for 9 through 12, and then you can go on and work on your practice. Instruction will be given by me for what the practice will be if you're in class. Thank you.